And here's the Gigabyte D120-S3G. So this is using Anapurna. It's a quad-core ARM Cortex A15, right? Yes. So uh, this is a CPU that's better optimized for cold storage? Cold storage. And this is the SOC for better for the cold storage. They integrate with the LAN controller rate. They even have the hardware rate inside of the SOC. Hardware rate? Inside of this SOC. So this SOC is very good for a bunch of, uh, it's kind of like a NAS, NAS or that yes. kind of market, right? Yes, yes. And uh, uh, is it fully optimized for this? Yes. And, and, and this integrating all these things on the SOC is not something Intel was doing before? No. So before there's some extra chips? No. So the different thing is for this kind of SOC is integrated with hardware rate and it can yeah. control eight of the hard it can control eight of the hard drives. Yeah. So inside of that we also mount two of the Marvel chips. Each one, two of the Marvel chips. Which one? Yeah. There? Next to them? Yeah, next to them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, the, just then, yeah. And what do those, they do, they do so what, Marvel? The, uh, each one of the Marvel chips can control four of these hard drives. So totally in one, this such small model, we have 16 <laughs> SATA hard drive and control the 16 hard drives. How, what's the difference between, uh, is this a Marvel ARM, small ARM CPU? Marvel? Uh, yeah. Marvel, yes. Not, not small ARM CPU, but it's a kind of the hard drive controller. It's a very single chip, which can control the four of the hard drives. But uh, isn't it higher performance to use the Annapurna? For, yes. So that means eight will be fast and eight will be slower, or no? Yeah. Uh, we developed this kind of 16 hard drives because currently in the market, the most of the core storage or most of the JBAR storage is only 12 hard drives. So Gigabyte is the first one to develop these 16 hard drives and we want to use the lower power consumption, lower latency and good efficiency to do this kind of things. But uh, wouldn't it be uh, most optimal to have two Annapurnas to do two times eight or no? Uh, no, 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 no. It's better to combine like this? No, this is for cost concern. Cost? Cost. So uh, uh, how about, uh, so you were saying there was less chips on the board, if we compare over here with Intel, this, uh, this is the Intel CPU and then... This is the new Broway DE, Xeon D CPU. So we use the same system structure and then we use the Broway DE to use, to control it. So which one was the RAID controller, for example, and stuff like that? It's not on the CPU, it's separate? Uh, this is the RAID controller cars. We have the RAID controller cars, it's using the... Yeah. Standardized card. Ah, so the card like this? Yes. So you can see. So this one is no need on the on no the corner. Which yes. other thing is no need? There's less RAM over there, right? Yes. yes. Because what? probably they can run in the same as the they can run in the DDR4, so it's better to use. I mean, different platform. For Annapurna, it's very efficiency, cost efficiency, economic service. And for Intel platform Xeon D, it's also the first one can use Windows Server to do the cost, cost storage. So Windows Server is possible here. It has just Ubuntu? Only Ubuntu? Yes, only Ubuntu. And Ubuntu? the different purpose for this kind of two things is for the Annapurna is good for the cost storage. But for the Xeon D, it's good for the cost storage, also warm storage. So warm storage means it turns in all the time? It turns in all the time. Cold means what? A Cold deep, means uh, something deep. you need to um, put in the data, but the data is not frequently to use it. So how's the power consumption here compared to there? Uh, this power supply is 350 watts. But in that one, it's 400 watts, a little bit more. Only a little bit Only more. more? yes. So it's not a big difference in not power? Not a big difference. Because most of the power is the hard drive? Yes, uh, and most of the power is hard drive and the uh, fan for the Annapurna itself only 12 watts. But then there's a difference in price maybe for the... Yes, yes. Is that not yet public, right? Yes. But there will be a difference in the... Uh, uh, so for all the cloud storage companies, this is a solution? Yes, this is one of the solutions. And if customer wanting to use Intel Windows Server, you can use Leon D. All right, yes. cool.
And uh, this is the maximum capacity right now? No, this is the second capacity because WD they have eight terabytes. Eight? Of steam. Yes. Crazy. So eight terabytes means totally you can have the 128 terabytes in one server. So compare with the price and the value, you can see each terabyte you can purchase more with but the lower cost. When you say that this is good for cold storage, yes. is the Intel not good for cold storage? Cannot? Uh, it, it's not say not, but it's also good for warm storage. Oh, okay. Depends on the customer using. But when you do cold storage, um, the power consumption can be very low, right? Yes. Like how low does it go if it's, uh, everything is cold? If everything is cold, the power consumption of this one, it can only use like 30% of the power. 30, okay. Yes. Cool. And so, um, uh, Annapurna, have you been working with them for a while? Yes, from so, last year. From we last developed year. this one, and Annapurna just been merged by Amazon Web Service in the January time frame. And this is uh, the leader, one of the leaders for cloud service, so there's a reason. Yes. So it's, it's because it's very good for the cloud stuff. Yes. All right, so right here.